गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल कंटिन्यू द सेम इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर द ब्लू बीड बाय नोरा बर्क लेट्स डिस्कस द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स फर्स्ट चिल्ड्रन बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग्स ऑफ द डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द टेक्स्ट एंड चिल्ड्रन यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द टेक्स्ट इन योर ओन वर्ड्स नाउ चिल्ड्रन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द रीडिंग लेट एस डिस्कस वॉट वी हैव रेड लास्ट टाइम इन लास्ट सेशन children in last session you have read that the paper grass was collected and it was taken to the railhead by bullock cart and sold to an agent who in turn sent the grass to the paper mills the irony was that the women labored all day while the agent simply relaxed now children we'll continue the reading take out page number 96 we have to start from the last paragraph such thoughts did not trouble sibia however as she skipped along with her sickle children sickle means a tool with a curve to cut grass please note down and homemade hay fork underline the word hay fork hay fork means a long headed fork with two long curved prongs beside her mother you could skip skip means walking playfully you could skip on the way out but not on the way back when you ached with tiredness and there was a great load to carry so children the agents they relaxed and just smoke hookah but sibia was least affected by such thoughts she happily skipped to the cliffs with her sickle and homemade hay fork as on the way back this would not be possible with the heavy painful load to carry so children i hope everybody knows where is sibia going she is going high above the cliffs in order to get in order to get paper grass correct let's read further some of the women were wearing necklaces made out of lal lal beads children beads means beads the shiny scarlet scarlet means bright red color so the shiny scarlet seeds black one end that grew everywhere in the jungle it was best to have new necklaces each year instead of last year's faded one and sibia was making one too so children some of the women in this group wore necklaces made of shining bright red seeds with black with a black edge found abundantly in the jungle and such necklaces were made every year as the older one faded sibia was too making one for herself Let's continue the reading how nice it was going to be to hear that rattling swish rattling swish children means sound made by the beads rattling swish round her neck as she frumps along with lots of necklaces so children sibia was too making one for herself as she loved to hear the sound of the beaded necklaces but each seed hard as stone had to be drilled with a red hot needle and the family needle was snapped children underline the word snap and note down the meaning broken snapped means broken so she must wait till they could buy another but children each seed was very hard it was hard as stone it has to be drilled so children she had to wait why she had to wait she had to wait because she had no needle she owned no needle perforation means um, to make hole by piercing okay she didn't have any needle with her so she had to wait let's move on oh for strings and strings of glass and beads anklets earrings nose rings bangles all the gorgeous dazzle dazzle means bright and beautiful jewel dazzle of the bazaar all her little golden body decorated so children sibia's heart 
ultimate wish was to decorate herself so her heart's ultimate wish was to decorate herself with what with shining strings of glass and beads anklets earrings nose rings and bangles which she had seen at the bazaar so this was her wish what was her wish to decorate herself okay i hope you all are noting down the word meanings side by side let's read next chattering children chattering means talking note down chattering means talking chattering as they went the women followed the dusty track toward the river on their way they passed a gujar encampment so children encampment means a place with temporary accommodation accommodation can be in the form of small hut grass hut tents okay gujar encampment of grass huts where these nomadic what do you mean by nomadic children nomadic means people roaming from one place to another where these nomadic graziers would live for time until their animals animals had perhaps finished all the easy grazing within reach so children the women went along a dusty path towards the river talking all the way they passed through a gujar encampment of grass huts they were nomadic means they were wanderers they have grazed their cattle wandering from place to place they moved when either their animals had no more grass to graze or we can say let's read or they were not able to sell enough of their white butter and white milk in the district or there was no one to buy the young male buffaloes for tiger bait so children they moved when either their animals had no more grass to graze or they were unable to sell the milk or white butter or when their young male buffaloes could not be sold for hunting tigers and one more reason is there or perhaps a cattle killing tiger was making a nuisance of himself then they would move on so the last one is they would move when a tiger attacked their cattle and then they would leave the place then let's read next sibia glanced at the gujar women as she went past they wore trousers tight and wrinkled at the ankles and in their ears large silver rings made out of melted rupees and one of them was clinking children underline the word clinking what do you mean by clinking making a sharp sound a stick against the big brass ghadas ghadas means pots in which they fetch water from the river for the camp to see which one were empty so children sibia observed the attire of the gujar women their tight trousers wrinkled at the ankles the large flat silver earrings made of melted coins one woman was busy checking the water level in the brass pots by clinking a stick on them they fetch water from the river in these pots the men and boys were out of camp just now with the herd or gone to the bazaar to sell produce but one or two buffaloes were standing about creatures of great wet noses and moving jaws and gaunt black bones children gaunt means lean so children the men and the boys had just left the camp with the animals or you can say gone to the bazaar to sell milk and butter sibia found one of the two buffaloes with wet noses ruminating ruminating means chewing let's read next the gujars were junglies as sibia was too born and bred bred means brought up in the forest for countless centuries their forebears means forebears means ancestors have had lived like this getting their living from animals from grass and trees as they scratch their food together and store their substances substances means possessions in large herds children herds means groups and silver jewelry just like sibia the gujars too were people of the jungle 
Since, un- since generations, the Gujars survived depending on animals, grass, trees and searching for food together and investing in large herds and silver jewellery. Let's read next. They were man in the wandering pastoral, pastoral means rural age and not, not stone age, hunters and not yet cultivators. Children cultivators means agriculturist. So children, uh, they were rural, they were pastoral nomads owning livestock and not hunters of stone age or cultivators. Let's read next. Ah, now there was the river twinkling. What do you mean by twinkling? Means shining. Between the rivers, sunlit beyond dark trunks. They could hear it rushing along. So children, Sibia and the women reached the river shining between the trees beyond their trunks water could be heard rushing by the women came out on the shore and made for the stepping stones so children the women the women approached the stepping stone they were they had plenty to laugh and bicker bicker means argue about trivial things Bicker about as they approach the river in a noisy crowd. So children, the women, they approach the stepping stone, laughing and quarreling loudly. Let's read next. They girded up, means fasten, their skirts so as to jump from stone to stone. And they clanged, children clanged means to make the loud sharp sound of metal hitting against something solid. So they clanked the, their sickles and forks together over their shoulders to have ease of movement. So children, tying up their skirts, they jumped from stone to stone, their sickles and forks clanking over their shoulders. Let's read next. They shouted their quarrels above the gush of the river. So children, their voices were louder than the noise of the flowing water. Let's read next. Noise frightens crocodiles. The big mugger did not move and all the women crossed in safety to other bank. So children, the huge crocodile, mugger is crocodile only, the huge crocodile remained still in the shadows as noise frightened him. Frightened him. The women, they also safely crossed over to the other side. They crossed over to the other side. Let's move to next. Here they had to climb a still hillside. Children, underline the word still hillside. What do you mean by still hillside? Sloping side of a hill. Here they had to climb a still hillside to get at the grass. But all fell to with a will and sliced away. Underline the word sliced away. Sliced away means cut away. At it, wherever there was foothold to be had. Foothold children means a place or support for the feet. So children, what happened? At the other bank, they climbed a hill and began to cut patches of grass where they could balance themselves. So wherever they could balance themselves, wherever they could stand with support, they were cutting the patches of grass. Let's read next. I hope you all are noting down the difficult word meanings. Down below them ran the broad river, pouring powerfully out from its steep narrow pools among the cold cliffs and shadow, spreading into warm shallows lit by kingfishers. Great turtles lived there and masweed, children masweed means a common name given to tiger-like fishes, weighing more than a hundred pounds. Okay, now let's read. So children, a lot of water fell down from cold cliff, okay, into the broad river below. The river spread itself into warm shallows and a large number of kingfisher birds flew above the river water in search of fish. Along with great turtles and crocodiles, of course. So children, crocodiles too... Sometimes you could see them lying out of out on those slabs. Children, slabs means flat and broad piece of something. 
slabs of clay over there but there were none to be seen at the moment so children at times few crocodiles were found near the sandbanks but currently there were none let's move to next now where sibia was working wind coming across hundreds of miles of trees cooled her sweating body and she could look down over the river as if she were a bird children underline this as if she were a bird so here the figure of speech used here is simile sibia is compared to a bird using the word as okay children so children sibia was cutting grass the wind coming from trees cooled her sweating body with her mother by her side she did not dare to waste her time looking down at the river see here although she did not dare stop for a moment under her mother's eye her imagination took her into swooping flight underline this swooping flight what do you mean by swooping flight it means capture in speed over the bright water and golden air to the banks where she had played as a child so although in her mother's presence she could not dare to waste her time looking down at the river yet her imagination took over making her think of the shining water clear air and sandy banks where she had played in her childhood now children this is your homework time what you have to do do the work given in snap homework So children this was all about today's session thank you